What's up everybody? So we just landed in Manchester, New Hampshire and we are making our way to Portland. Um, the trees are, are just about to change, you know, they're, they're getting, there's about 10% of them have uh, turned already. Uh, so we're a little bit early for peak season, but that's okay. Um, we should be hitting the Portland Lighthouse here right at uh, sunset. So fingers crossed we make it in time and we get some color and all that jazz. Um, and then from there, we're gonna head up to Acadia National Park and hopefully uh, tomorrow and a little bit of the 25th kind of uh, spend some time exploring the park there. So we'll catch you up there. Well, we made it to Portland uh, right at about 6.30. And as we were pulling into the uh, lighthouse um, parking lot, there was a uh, guy shouting that the park was closed. And if we stayed, it would have been a $25 fine. And so I got a small video on my phone and uh, a couple pictures, but nothing special. So now we're just walking around on the waterfront uh, looking for a good place to find a lobster roll. So it is uh, like quarter to five right now. Um, I'm gonna head into Acadia National Park um, and hopefully get a somewhat decent uh, sunrise at Otter Point here. Um, I'm not too hopeful. There's a lot of clouds on the horizon, uh, which typically means that there's not going to be too much color, but um, I'm hoping that there's going to be some. And uh, either way, it's it's a good location, um, good composition overall, so that, um, you know, I'll hopefully walk away with something that I'm happy with uh, regardless. So, all right, come along with me for the morning adventure. <laughs> Made it to Pebble Beach. Not a whole heck of a lot around me. Hanging out, enjoying the nice uh, ocean waves here, crashing in. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm the only one here, probably because uh, I'm the only one crazy enough to get up at this hour and hike down here right now, and you know, all for what's probably not going to be a stellar sunrise, but uh, you know what? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Anytime I see the sunrise. Uh, I'm not, I'm never disappointed. So I'm hoping that still holds true to today. And I'm hoping that something magical can happen. Regardless, this is gorgeous. And uh, if you ever find yourself in Acadia, definitely check this place out. All right, I'm gonna scout some, some photos and, you know, get to it. 
So we got about 15 minutes to the sunrise. And we got a few more photographers down here. We expected that would happen, but it's all good. Well, it uh, wasn't the sunrise that I was hoping for, but I think I got some cool shots. Um, you know, it's a over, overcast uh, sky right now, so um, the light on the entire scene is pretty, pretty spectacular. Um, we got some cool wave action coming in. Ooh, check these out. Well, those are pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to photograph them right now, but dang. Something you wouldn't have seen uh, on the hike in. Um, but as I was saying, you know, it, uh, got pretty tricky out there with the slick rocks and everything. Um, I actually ended up taking a spill once and uh, came close a few times. So, you know, it is what it is, but I am off to, I think, Jordan Pond for a quick stop. And then uh, we'll go pick up Mallory. came to Jordan Pond hoping to get a cool you know calm morning and um, have bubble mountain in the background but <laughs> this is what I got bunch of fog but you know I still uh, try to make a couple images um, I think I got a couple uh, cool ones um, there's like a, a stream back that way um, that kind of leads you into the forest and uh, there were some cool colors there some cool uh, browns and reds and greens so I think I like that image um, I'll come back later on today and, and maybe uh, It'll be a little better um, but a little bummed about the fog again hopefully this afternoon when I come back it'll be a little better uh, but for now I'm gonna go pick up Mallory grab some uh, coffee and breakfast and uh, yeah we're, we're gonna get our morning started kind of realized uh, this morning I didn't really talk much about my images um, at Otter Cliff so what I wanted to do, because I knew that the light really wasn't going to pop off, um, it wasn't really about the sky. It was more about the foreground, more about the boulders. Um, and so I tried to get a longer exposure so the waves coming in and out would um, give you a more of a, a ethereal feel to the image. Um, give you, you know, that ghostly effect of the water uh, crashing over the boulders and I think I captured that um, pretty well so I'm excited for y'all to see these images and uh, hope you enjoy there's more to come so stay tuned
What is up, y'all? So, we're back at uh, Jordan Pond. The fog has not quite lifted, um, but that's all right, because we're, we're here to hike South Bubble and uh, around the lake, I think. So, we're gonna take our time, soak in the views. Hopefully, I'll get some pictures along the way. And if I do, I'll put them up. All right, see you at the top. Beehive and bowl trail. All right, ready? Yes. Let's, Let's do it. How you doing back there? Great. Not yeah. out of shape at all. <sighs> We're making it. A little bit at a time. That's a tight spot. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we were fogged out in Seattle and we're fogged out here. to the sign. What is it? A little squirrel. So he's right there. Look. Oh. Stop whatever you want. Eating his nut. Give me a break. Yep. Oh, he's just hanging out. Right? Somewhere over there is an ocean. Mm -hmm. 
soak it in. You don't get views like this every day. Exactly. I'm really trusting these ladders. This is fun. I like it. So I think we passed the hard part. It'd be a lot scarier if we could see down, but the fog is in our way and we got. I'm doing alright. Be Gucci. Oh, it would be. Yeah, right? I guess this way. Oh, sorry. My bad. I'm now the leader. I'm the captain now. Ooh. So I lied about the hard part. Oh. You alright? Yeah. You're videoing me. Rude. Only a little. What I don't need Your way. <laughs> no, we'll take another path down. You good? Yeah, I'm just. You dizzy? No, I'm just. Here, get a little. Oh, we. Thanks, so. Well, I made it up to the top. There uh, really wasn't a view. So we took a little break. Now we're going to go to the bowl. And then head back down. Fingers crossed that we can actually see the bowl. Because I think it'd be pretty cool with the fog and everything. And being up so high. So, we'll see. More to come. Yeah, I like this.
Go Bearcats. Go Bearcats. <laughs> I told you to find one. Yep. This is funny. You guys are everywhere. Yeah. All right, time to go right. Yeah, back up. Yeah, but... Let's do it again. Oh, climbing up beehive was fun. Yeah. Scary, but fun. I mean, it would. It was, it was fun, sweet. Like, <laughs> I mean, I think it, it would was be better the second time around. Beehive? No. Oh, I was like, we didn't do it two times. Yeah. yeah. Well, if we do beehive again in our lives, it'll hopefully be a clearer day. Yeah, okay. Whoa. This is what I'm talking about. basically try to get the sea, this section of the water, try to use that, get some uh, more ethereal, long exposure type, mixed in with this foreground, beautiful foreground, and of course the lighthouse. I even um, went out there just beyond these black rocks here and uh, Took a little little selfie. Yeah, so fog's rolling in. It's about dinner time. We're both getting hungry, and uh, I think that's going to be it for uh, today. So tomorrow we've got um, another Acadia day. We're hoping to do Cadillac Mountain in the morning, and then we're going to move on to the White Mountain National Forest, hopefully get some uh, more fall color leaves and stuff. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See ya.